Hey all, Sarah here from Mom's Milk Boutique and today we're going to do a cloth diapering 101. I have a friend, a good friend, who's pregnant with her first baby. She's due in April and she's very excited um, for a number of reasons, but she's very excited to cloth diaper her baby and I'm very excited for her too. Um, however, every time she goes on the Mom's Milk Boutique website, I get a text from her or a phone call or email just saying, help, I'm overwhelmed. There's so many choices, I don't know where to begin. And I get that, I definitely understand that. I was in that same place six and a half years ago. Um, and so I thought today I'd just make this quick video and kind of go over the three basic types or styles of cloth diapers. Now I'm not gonna go into name brands because that's a whole other chunk of terminology that can just add to the confusion. So today we're just gonna focus on the three main types of cloth diapers. So let's begin. <clears throat> this is called a pre-fold and you just fold it up over baby and there's lots of different ways that you can fold it. Um, but this can't be used on its own. You need to have a cover over this. So if you were just to put your pre-fold on your baby um, and put their clothes on over it, the, the urine would wick onto the clothing. So you need a waterproof cover. So this is a cover and it just goes over your pre-fold, kind of like that. And this particular cover is a PUL fabric, which is just a waterproof fabric. And so it's just gonna um, keep everything inside the diaper. Another type of cover that you could use over your pre-fold is a wool cover. So you can't use this on its own. You need to use a pre-fold underneath your wool cover. So you put this on baby first, and then you would pull this over baby. Like that, okay? Now, in addition to your pre-fold, you can use what's called a fitted with your covers. So um, this is a fitted diaper. It just kind of folds up over baby like this. And then you could put your cover over your fitted diaper, okay? So that's kind of a two-step cloth diapering system in, in a pretty economical choice. Um, so you have your pre-fold or your fitted with your diaper cover. Okay, next is a pocket diaper. And a pocket diaper looks like this. It's called a pocket diaper because it has this pocket. And inside the pocket, you put an insert. So the insert is kind of the absorbent layers or layer. And you're just gonna stuff that right inside the pocket, like so. And then you just fold it up over baby, like that. So that's a pocket diaper. Last is an all-in-one diaper. So just as the name suggests, it's just an all-in-one diaper. There's nothing to stuff. There's not um, two different layers to put on. Everything is self-contained into one diaper, okay? Now with each of these three different types of diapers, you have some options when it comes to sizing. So you can get your traditional sized diapers which would be um, newborn, small, medium, large, and even extra large. And what size you buy would depend on the size of your baby. So you look at weight and you look at the waist and the rise and so forth. So here's an example of a sized diaper. This is a medium. <clears throat> um, and this is a pocket diaper because it has a pocket. So I wanna show you the difference between this pocket diaper, which is a sized pocket diaper, and this pocket diaper, which is a one size. Now one size means that it's going to fit baby from newborn to potty training. And how you adjust the size on this particular diaper is in addition to the Velcro, which you can make really small or you could make a larger size, you also have the snaps here that can snap down to a smaller size. Okay, so this is a one size and this is a sized. And, and your um, covers, your pockets, and your all-in-ones, you're going to have those options. Either one sized, meaning they fit from newborn to potty training, or sized, meaning you make a choice. Typically it's newborn, small, medium, large, extra large. Different brands have slightly different terms that they use. Um, 
but you're going to pick a size for your baby and then when they outgrow that size you need to purchase the next size up. So I hope that helps clarify things a little bit. Again, I know it's overwhelming, but have fun with it. It's great that you have all these choices and there's really pros and cons and benefits um, to all the different choices that you have. So kind of do some research, do some reading, talk to friends, um, go to your local cloth diapering store if you can and get some more tips and information when it comes to choosing a system that's right for you and your baby. Thank you.